Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Monday and it is the first day of the back to school for us in Ontario, Canada. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Sophie hates it, why do you hate it? I hate school. She hates hate school. Reading. Yeah, and so this morning I discovered something weird. So Sam does not read, I love reading. Gabby reads and Sophie hates reading. So our gene pool split right down the middle. But what was interesting is that- Me and mom can't draw, dad and Gabby can't. Yeah, Sophie and I can't draw, Gabby and Sam can draw. But what's interesting is that, it, is that this morning, Sophie was telling me that when she reads, she reads a couple of words and then by the time she gets a few words down the sentence, she forgets the beginning part of it. And I'm like, how does that even happen? I can like look at a, I can look at a paragraph and skim it and understand exactly what it said. Like I, I am hyper focused on reading. Sometimes I have to read the same sentence like five times. Yeah, and you're like that too, right? <laughs> no, because he never reads. Yeah, like. <laughs> Before, when we were younger, and I would read it so much more because we didn't have horses and I had more time. And Sam would lay beside me while I was reading in bed, and he would look at me and he would say, "How can you do that?" But yeah, there's like our brains are all made differently, and we all have skills, and God gives us the skills that we need for the life we're meant to lead. And so I'm a reader, Gabby's a reader. These two are not readers, but they do other things that I can't do. So just I can't wait. Read. I can't <laughs> You got all the bad <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was just gonna say. Like I can read, but I can't draw. Poor Sophie's got nothing. <laughs> you can. Uh, you're social. Oh, I yeah, can dream she's, Ninja Ponies. Yeah, and it, she's so social. She's like me. She's so social. And Gabby and Sam literally could go to a party and sit like a bump on the log, or a bump on a hay road. bale, road. which road. is road. Which is basically what we did last night. We went to my brother's and we had a big barbecue and all of our family was there. And I stopped filming because I forget when I'm around people and having fun. We took pictures and we had a big, huge bonfire. And we all sat around in the weather. It was cold outside. It was, it was snowing a bit. It was snowing a little bit and it was gloriously warm. Like my brother can build a fire. He built a fire. We were all warm. Like Sophie hardly had any. She didn't have a coat on. Gabby was dressed warm. What? I have anyway, good morning and welcome to today. I would love to see what you do really well. Comment below, what is the thing that you do? What do you do that is awesome? I can read <laughs> and I love easily and I'm social. Tell me three things that you do well. Train manager ponies, train deaf dogs. <laughs> um, You're social. No. Yes, you are. You make friends so easy, Sophie. Everywhere we go, Sophie makes friends. No, not really. You do. That's if they talk to me first. No, you always talk to them first. No. Yeah, it's when true. I see it all the time. I mean, she's a little bit shy at first, but then once they get going, she's always so, so super social. But anyway, comment below what you are really good at. I really want to hear. It's January. It's time for a new you. Comment below. What are you good at? I'll tell you one thing. The people in our family that are good at reading are really good at spelling. Okay, that's not a, that's not true because I can't oh, spell. I spelling. <laughs> oh my god! I failed my spelling test today. <laughs> can't do that either, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh! I remember. Sophie, you're funny. She's funny. I remember one year <laughs> I was writing the police exam and I passed the police exam for the Ontario Provincial Police. But when I went to the interview, she's like, you did bad on your spelling. I said, yeah, it wasn't that great at spelling. Do you read? No. Well, it makes sense. <laughs> if you don't read, you're not good at spelling. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty good at spelling. I read. Yeah, I suck. I suck at spelling. It's just that I don't... I read so fast. Like, I am a fast person. I'm active. I'm a little bit hyper sometimes. I always... Am way ahead of myself, so I, I don't pay attention to the spelling so much. I pay attention to what I'm reading. But anyways, um, Gabby can spell like the wind. She is a speller and a drawer, and she's kind. She reads. she reads and she's kind. You guys don't see that part of Gabby, but she is incredibly kind. Like people say that all the time when we go places. She's either shy or she's kind, but she is so helpful she's and shy, so kind. She looks grumpy, but she's not. Yeah. 
Okay, we are at the grocery store. We're gonna stop and get a few things and then we're gonna go and I have some things to show you that Sam's been working on with the horses this morning. Well, it's official. There's ice in our paddock now, actual ice. It hasn't been cold all the way up till now, but it is now cold. So this is what Sam did. I told you guys like that the big horses have been leaving their hay, like just leaving their hay, big piles of hay all over the place and instead choosing to go over there and eat the grass and the grass is dead I, they're not getting any nutrition from it and i want the horses to be chubby to be chubbier so i don't want them doing that i want them eating the hay so what we ended up doing what sam ended up doing was cut cutting one of our barrels and putting the hay in it to keep it up off the ground so it doesn't get wrecked and then chino took all the hay out of the barrel. So this is all fresh hay from this morning that they're choosing not to eat. He took it completely out of the barrels and decided that he didn't like them. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. But anyway, Sam's gonna do something different. Going to nail these, not nail them, but he's gonna screw them to this thing. Probably one on this side for Chino and one on that side for Penny. And then he, it'll have like the overhang up there to keep it dry and stuff. And he's gonna try and put it in there. And hopefully they'll be far enough away from each other that nobody will get pushed off because Chino's bossy. So one will be here, one will be on that side. But yeah, they took all the hay out. This field has so much hay in it all over the place. Piles and piles of hay. I might have to buy some bolts and bolt it to the thing. I'm gonna try and screw it for now. Right here. Somewhere. Under yeah. That. Or do it where, yeah, like, so that they can stay out of the wind. All right. You work on that. I can maybe put it in. Uh, well, outside's better, right? Yeah, outside's better because if one goes in, then the other one can't. Like, our horses are mean to one another. Uh oh. Oh, good job. Put two in there just to make sure it doesn't come out. No, this is how you just carry no, a blanket. What's going on, changing their blanket? Oh, yeah, you guys sure. change, change their blanket. I actually hate this time of year when it's like super cold. It gets messy. It gets messy just not only just because like the wind and stuff, but hay gets everywhere. This is where Sam brings the hay in. And in the summertime, it's all grass. And I always rake it all up and make sure that there's nothing like preventing the grass from growing. But in the winter, it's just too cold to be down here all the time so it just gets left. All the horses are getting warmer blankets on. The, the temperature has dropped, you guys. Winter has arrived. Somebody's knocking on the door. Who do you think it could be? Let's take a look. Well, there's Gracie. <laughs> and then the mini. So the reason that we're having trouble with her weight, we're not having trouble, A, we're not having trouble trouble like she's fine she's not super overweight but she has a bit of a hay belly and the reason we're having problems the reason we're having problems is because she's a hoover she's a little hoover machine she's like a little vacuum cleaner uh the horses you know how like i just showed you the boys field how they leave hay little bits of hay or how they're leaving like piles of hay well our girls will leave little, little bits of hay too and honey doesn't care she will eat anything so she eats her hay and then when everybody's done eating she goes around and she sucks up every single little bit that's left oh willow you're so cute okay i hear something strange do you hear something strange honey bear do you guys hear it i think the doves are back I thought she was gonna try and climb that. Honey just had her feet trimmed again today. Well, she just had her, her heels lowered. Right? Every two weeks, she gets her heels lowered. She's so cute though, you guys. Like, I love her. Even though she's Sophie's baby, I feel like she's a family baby. I wanted to tell you guys just really quick before Sophie comes in here that earlier she said she's really good at uh, training miniature horses. And you guys might not think that she is, or some of you might not think that she is. When you're young and sometimes it feels like the whole world is against you, it's really important to have good self-esteem. And part of homeschool, I feel like, is being allowed to foster a positive attitude about yourself. So that's why I... I I encourage that. Well, oh, she saw me. Okay, so Hello. today we're gonna do something fun. Well, I don't know how fun it is. We're gonna introduce a new horse to the herd. Can we do one at a time? 
Penny, yeah. not Penny, because I don't want to get killed. <laughs> yeah. Or Gracie, because I don't want to get killed. Or all right. <laughs> Let's just do it with this. All one. right. All right. <laughs> She went from one at a time to to excluding them one. and then let's just do this one with the I big don't butt. I trust the others not to kick me. All right, there we go. Don't hit me. Sorry. I don't want to get hurt. All right, so I reset the camera. Guys, what the And so far me? I like it. What? I get hurt every day. You don't Somehow. though. Somehow. None of you guys are like My are back hurt plutzes. today, right here. Oh. I am. Yeah, you are not. I see something, I try not to run into it, I run into it. But I've seen real klutzes, and you guys are not that. I don't know what I did to make my back hurt. Right here. Um, no, That's why I put back no. pain on my you know bullet the, journal. You know the lining on the door? Listen, what is that? You know the rubber, that's a pigeon. You know the rubber lining on the door? <laughs> She's telling the dog. Yeah, I ran into it. Oh, well, maybe you are a bit of a klutz. Hello, baby. You can't even see her ears. I'm gonna get like more of those. Half buckets and put them up for the girls. The they, barrels? Yeah, they look yeah. really good. Yeah, I'll put them along the fence. Then, yeah. And them up and then... Let's go get the new horse. Okay, hold also, on. Also, Sophie, at the treats. Huh? There was treats all over the floor here this morning. I don't know where they came from. Oh, no, but wait. Stop wasting treats. The big horses don't want to be outside. They hate it. Out in the front field there. But they can't just stand in a stall all winter either. Like, it just has to happen. Anyway. Well, so I'm gonna introduce you guys to the new horse in just a second. The horse that we're gonna introduce to our horses. Horse. First, we're gonna dress up the horse, put on its blanket and Why stuff, and keep it warm. Nay. So, meet Buttercup. We gate, no, we are not Buttercup. We are Storm. What? We no, we're no, we're just gonna do one horse at a time. For Milo. Okay. Because we don't want to be scaring our horses. Hold That's that, what yeah. not what this, this is, is Milo, about. Mom. Okay, look. Wait, wait. Wait, the back it's end. Like it's barely covering me, guys. That's okay. You're good. All right. Our okay, horse is a little uh, tall. All right, let's it's got to be at least 17.5. No, there's no 17.5. It's got to be at least 18.2. Huh? No, Chino, I think it's taller than me. I Start trotting. No! No! You're going to Honey, say nay. Nay. Oh my God. Nay. Nay. Stopping. Stop. Bend Ew. down. I am. <laughs> She's like. Aww. Don't. All right, letting the others in. Oh, flip, Gabby. See how good our horse is though? Like, see how good Honey is? She's not ever afraid. She can see your face. Like that's kind of defeating the purpose. Oh, our horses trust us. I can headbutt Sophia. Yeah. Don't headbutt Sophia. <laughs> she's smelling your. She's smelling the butt of the horse. The the baby I thought was a bit nervous at first, and then she did what she always does. She went up. She went up and tried to make friends. That's what she does. She tries to make friends with everybody. All right. It's official. <laughs> Our horses are wonderful. I get a real horse costume. Our intention is not to scare the horses, but you just saw Willow yawn. She's clearly bored. Bored and tired. No. All right, run down to the end and see what happens. Go slow. <laughs> Look at our first red horse. Yeah, you 
run. No, I can't. Get me drunk, run. <laughs> the horses. The horses are all like, okay, you guys are crazy. Oh my god. All right, it's okay. good. Oh, <laughs> the horse's butt fell out, and Gracie kind of. No, I think Sophia should try that. Try running with me, Sophia. But the fact that they have a blanket over their head and the horses aren't freaking out is so telling. Penny. I mean, Penny doesn't like it. But I love that they're like desensitized to crazy stuff, which is why we do I a lot of crazy stuff. I could take this thing off and put it on Honey, and she wouldn't care. Hey, be nice. We love you too. We love you too. We love you. She's like, I don't love you. <laughs> I'm thinking gonna buy a real horse costume. Where would you get a real horse costume? Oh, I can find it online or a costume shop. Like, no, All right. Mom, what we need to get is those inflatable dino costumes. And we can run around with the dinosaurs. I would run around. Yes, I would. I would. All right. Gabby wants to be a dinosaur. No, no, the, wants to be do you know the inflatable dinosaurs? They were some babies. Honey just wants to be friends with anybody. Like honestly, she is Gracie, the most friendly her. horse. Don't act brave now. And do you know what? I'm gonna show you guys this picture. We have a picture. It was a bad cell phone picture, and I cropped it, and it just shows Honey's face before we got her. And this is like and and so that's the picture that I first saw Honey with, and. I was like, ah, she looks weird. Like, why does she look so weird? But then when we met her, you can tell it's not that she's weird. It's that she's just a happy, friendly, easygoing, like, f funny little girl. So I'm going to show you guys this picture. And hopefully you guys can see how it is totally her personality. Like, it is just totally who she is. Honey's like, I love this thing. I know. Like, she would probably love to have a little foal. It's unfortunate that she doesn't have a baby friend to play yeah, with. Yeah, it was the... See, she would rather stand here with us and go eat food. You know what? You walk around behind me and I'll start running. Do it. Let's see no. how Sophie can do it. I'm not doing that. You try it. All right. That was the best. Like, we wanted to do that, but we didn't want to scare our horses, so it turned out good. And we're not going to do it to Chino. Why are we not going to do it to Chino? Chino spooks when I carry his blankets above my head. Yeah, Chino spooks. Help every single time somehow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?